टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फर्स्ट पास मेटाबॉलिज्म नो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट पास मेटाबॉलिज्म इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज प्री सिस्टेमिक मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ ड्रग प्री सिस्टेमिक और इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज फर्स्ट पास इफेक्ट नाउ व्हेन द ड्रग इज एडमिनिस्टर्ड ओरली और व्हेन इट इज स्वॉलोड फर्स्ट इट इज एब्सॉर्ब इनटू द पोर्टल सर्कुलेशन एंड इट रीचेस टू द लिवर एज यू कैन सी हियर when the drug is swallowed or when it is taken orally it will first reach to the digestive system or stomach and then it is absorbed into the portal circulation and it will reach to the liver it reaches to the liver now we can say that the major site for the first pass metabolism is the liver the major site is the liver for the first pass metabolism apart from liver first pass metabolism can occur in the gut wall vasculature lung these are the other sites but the major site for first pass metabolism is the liver why the word first pass because the metabolism of drug before it reaches to the systemic circulation metabolism of a drug before it reaches to the systemic circulation that's why the name first pass metabolism some of the drugs are metabolized and rest of the drug reaches to the systemic circulation whenever a drug is given orally or when the drug is swallowed some of the drug some of the drug is metabolized in the liver and rest of the drug reaches to the systemic circulation right now hence absorption of a drug and first pass metabolism of a drug these are the two important determinants of bioavailability absorption of a drug and first pass metabolism how the drug is absorbed what is the extent of absorption of a drug and first pass metabolism these are the two important determinants of bioavailability now what is bioavailability fraction of administered dose it's a fraction fraction of administered dose that reaches in systemic circulation in unchanged form what is bioavailability bioavailability means the fraction of administered dose that reaches in systemic circulation in unchanged form okay now in simple words we are making it more simpler first pass metabolism it's a metabolism of drug during its passage passage from site of absorption into the systemic circulation it's a metabolism of drug from where during its passage passage from site of absorption into the systemic circulation or we can say before it reaches to the systemic circulation okay now we can say that all orally administered drugs are exposed to the drug metabolizing enzymes in the gut wall and in the liver where they first reach through the portal vein okay all orally administered drugs they exposed to the drug metabolizing enzymes now this drug metabolizing enzymes where are they present in the gut wall and in the liver now how they reach to the gut wall and the liver through the portal vein and from the portal vein it will reach to the liver and after the liver it will goes to the systemic circulation but before that the metabolism of drug occurs and that is called as the first pass metabolism or pre systemic metabolism of a drug pre systemic metabolism in the gut and liver can be avoided you can avoid this pre systemic metabolism how come you can administer the drug through you can administer the drug through sublingual route transdermal patch or parenteral route how will you avoid pre systemic metabolism or first pass metabolism by changing the route of drug administration you can change the route of drug administration for example you can give the drug via sublingual route for example in case of nitrate 
फर्स्ट पास मेटाबोलिज्म इज अवॉइडेड और बाईपास बायोलेबिलिटी इज इंक्रीज यू विल गेट द डिजायर्ड इफेक्ट इन सेकेंड्स ओके ट्रांसडमल पैच और बाय गिविंग द रूट्स वाया पैरेंट्रल रूट्स एंड दिस इज हाउ यू कैन अवॉइड द फर्स्ट पास मेटाबोलिज्म सो हियर इन द डायग्राम यू विल बेटर अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एक्चुअली हैपन्स ओके दिस इज द बक्कल कैविटी मीन्स वेन वी कंज्यूम द ड्रग वाया ओरल रूट इट विल फर्स्ट रीच टू द स्टमक दैट वी ऑल नो देन फ्रॉम द स्टमक इट विल रीच टू द इंटेस्टाइन एंड फ्रॉम द इंटेस्टाइन इट विल गोज टू द रेक्टम एंड देन इट इज एक्सक्रीटेड बट वेर दिस फर्स्ट पास मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ ड्रग अकर्स वेन वी कंज्यूम अ ड्रग थ्रू ओरल रूट इट विल रीच टू द स्टमक थ्रू इसोफेगस एंड फ्रॉम द स्टमक इट विल रीच टू द इंटेस्टाइन एंड फ्रॉम द इंटेस्टाइन इट विल रीच टू द लिवर थ्रू पोर्टल वेन इट विल रीच टू द लिवर थ्रू पोर्टल वेन और पोर्टल सर्कुलेशन बिफोर इट रीचेस टू द सिस्टमिक सर्कुलेशन बिफोर इट रीचेस टू द वेना कावा बिफोर इट रीचेस टू द सिस्टमिक सर्कुलेशन देर इज अ प्री सिस्टमिक मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ ड्रग देर इज अ प्री सिस्टमिक मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ ड्रग इन द लिवर और इन द गट वॉल थ्रू द पोर्टल सर्कुलेशन फर्स्ट इट रीचेस टू द लिवर एंड देन इट रीचेस टू द वेना कावा देन इट रीचेस टू द सिस्टमिक सर्कुलेशन सो इन बिटवीन दैट देर इज अ मेटाबॉलिज्म and that metabolism is called as the pre systemic metabolism or first pass metabolism or first pass effect now which are the drugs in that category those are having extensive first pass metabolism the drugs like nitrate imipramine lignocaine beta blockers morphine testosterone virapamil salbutamol these are the drugs which shows extensive first pass metabolism okay now how will you avoid as i just told you when you give the drug via buccal route or sublingual route or rectal route it will bypasses the liver the drug which is given via sublingual route or buccal route the drug they are directly absorbed through the sublingual veins and when the drug is absorbed through Uh, when the drug is given via rectal route the drug is absorbed through external hemorrhoidal vein so basically it bypasses the liver basically it bypasses the liver and drug is directly reaches to the systemic circulation drug is directly reaches to the systemic circulation so it basically avoiding the liver or bypassing the liver now what is the clinical significance of this first pass metabolism means oral dose is considerably higher than the sublingual and parenteral dose because most of the fraction of the drug is metabolized so oral dose is considerably higher than the sublingual and parenteral when the nitrate is given sublingually it's 0.5 mg when it is given orally it's a 5 mg because there is a extensive first pass metabolism there is a mark individual variation in the oral dose mark individual variation in the oral dose because there's the differences in their extent of first pass metabolism why there is a mark individual variation because there's the differences in the extent of first pass metabolism in persons with severe liver disease oral bioavailability is apparently increase in case of severe liver disease or cirrhosis of liver or if there is some hepatic dysfunction oral bioavailability is decrease or increase sometimes so you have to take care whenever there is a hepatic dysfunction mostly it is increase oral bioavailability of drug is increase if another drug competing with first pass metabolism is given concurrently for example antipsychotic drug like chlorpromazine and beta blocker like propranolol when they are given together so propranol